Hi, welcome to the new box here. Today, new manager Liam Watson takes charge for the first time. His side take on Workington as they kick off their Skrill North campaign, looking to get back into the Premier League at the first time of asking. Before we take a look at today's highlights, let's go and check out the team sheets. Well, the two teams are making their way out here. I think it's going to take some getting used to looking at these new Telford players, especially after what everybody had to endure last season. We had that spell, 30 games without a win, and of course, that relegation finishing bottom of the pile. And this team full of quality, full of experience as well. The Liam Watson's gone for today because uh, there is a, a few niggles in the squad, not too many. We will be starting this game with a minute's applause. Uh, earlier on uh, this year, the, uh, the sad death of Georgia Williams, who was a fan and a worker here at the uh, Buckshead, uh, sorely missed by everybody here uh, involved with the club. As a mark of respect, can I ask you all to please stand for a minute's applause on the referee's whistle for one of our own, Georgia Williams. we go that was a minute's applause in memory of uh, the uh, Telford fan and uh, the colleague that uh, used to be working here at the Buckshead Georgia Williams they say this club has lots of potential or well, Liam Watson knows what it takes to win and get promoted from the conference north we are underway then Telford kicking from our left to right all in white against Workington from Cumbria a long ball dispatched away to the Cumbrian's right-hand side. An early throw-in for Darren Edmondson's team. It's gloomy conditions here. You wouldn't think it was still summer. Feels very autumnal, in fact, today. But Steve Humble still has his shorts on. Here's Andy Owen's throw. Reaches the six-yard box. Hitter at the back post. Goal, Neil Byrne. And that throw-in from Andy Owens, we know, can be a weapon. It was Simon Grant who... Had his glancing header at the near post and Neil Bird behind him and he scores Telford's first goal. It was a rarity last season. I think we're going to see plenty of goals this season. Telford 1, Workington 0. The dream start. Free kick for Workington. Away to our left. It's a slotted ball in and it's a good save from Ryan Young. The ball evading everybody but Young... Diving low to his right-hand side. It nearly snuck in, but Young did well. And uh, a round of applause here, which we'll tell you about in a second. Simon Grant's delivery, lofted high. And the ball just getting held up by the blustery conditions that Telford are kicking towards. And uh, after 17 minutes, the hashtag on the scoreboard on the far side, United for Georgia 17. And, uh, well, that is in memory of Georgia Williams. And it was started by the North Terrace, the Hutchison stand away to our left, in memory of uh, Georgia Williams. Uh, a round of applause. Uh, Wes Baines to take it. Had a successful time at Chester. And a decent delivery as well. The keeper comes in a header from Grand. He's a threat, isn't he, Simon Grand, on these set pieces. Free kick, diagonal ball. And it was a splendid free kick at that. 
Clancy, an in-swinging corner here. Again, another good delivery, headed goalward, sleeve of that time, saved by Mitchell, the low knee from Newcastle United. And uh, we're starting to see uh, some really good deliveries coming in. There hasn't really been any concerted period of pressure from Telford during this first half. Well, there we go at half-time, and, uh, well, we said it's a new chapter, and uh, they got off to the best of starts, Telford. The goal after six minutes through Neil Byrne from a set-piece. If Telford can up their game in this second half, uh, Workington should be there for the taking. players in this Telford side who have got great reputations, you know, they've been there, seen it, done it. I mentioned Tony Gray, who scored goals wherever he's been, Sean Clancy, you know, a number of players in here who've won the Conference North uh, in the past, both with Southport and also with Chester, of course, the two, uh, well, Wes Baines today and Matty McGinn, when he comes back, were both fullbacks with Chester when they ran away with this division last season. So, that you know, there's quality throughout the squad. If Telford were to go and get that second goal, go 2-0 up, you'd find it hard to see how Workington would then be able to force their way back into this match. Clearly, if Workington go on and get the equaliser, then it's anybody's game. Five minutes gone, long ball forward, a chance, goal! Tony Gray, well, it's fallen to him, Telford 2-0 up. It was a pump ball forward from Ryan Young, and Tony Gray left and marked just four yards away from the goal line. And he's got a bit of his, uh, his toe onto it, and it's gone in. Woeful defending, Telford don't care. 2-0 their lead. Yeah, we've now got uh, you know, a bit of concerted uh, pressure from Workington in that Telford box. Another corner, right-footed, in-swinger, Holdsworth's header, struck in, and a goal! And they've managed to pull one back. It's a goal for Workington. It's now 2-1. Well, it had been coming. And uh, the goal finally does come for Darren Edmondson's team. Tony Gray pops up in space on the D, shoots just wide. That was a great shot. Back to goal from Tony Gray on the spot. Uh, managed to turn his marker, left-footed strike, and it wasn't far away at all from Tony Gray. If Telford could get a third, it would kill it off. Here's Mitchell into action again, and Fenix goes in for a challenge. It's a fair challenge. The keeper gets back to his feet. It was brave from both players. Fenix for Telford on his left-hand side to Clancy, who pulls it back under pressure from Hindmarsh. Gets a cross in right-footed. Nobody there waiting, though. Workington really struggling to get this one clear. And it's going to be a corner which will be taken left-footed by Clancy, an in-swinger. It's a deep one. Levers there, though. Back to Burn at the near post. Scissor kick, just over. Well, fans around us thought it had gone in, but it just creeps over. Neil Byrne, I think, will be keeping his place in the centre of midfield. Scored the first goal, nearly got himself a second and Telford's uh, third on that occasion. <laughs> it was an acrobatic effort, wasn't it, from Burnie? He just saw the ball, I think, looping up in front of him. He had his back to goal. What were his options? Did he want to lay it back to somebody on the edge of the penalty area? He thought, no, I'm going to have a go. And it was a decent effort, didn't clear the bar by much. All eyes on the referee now, isn't it? We've played the four minutes. In fact, his whistle goes to his man. There we go. Liam Watson's time as manager, his first game in charge. And it's a winning start for Liam Watson. I think it worked as easy or as we thought it would be just because of the expectation. I um, thought we didn't get into our normal game. It was a bit scrappy and from a personal point of view, 
uh, man of the match, but I worked up in performance. Um, didn't get into my normal game, I don't think a few of the lads did, but at the end of the day, it's um, a win and it's up there. You know what I mean? We're up there at the top of the table, well, near the top, should I say. It, was, it seemed like a tough physical game as well. Yeah, it was a tough uh, physical game. Like I said, we didn't we didn't really get it down in, until the last probably 15 minutes when it was in their area. But apart from that, it was physical. It was scrappy at times. But it looked like a lot of goal threat going forward, and I think definitely kind of certainly one claim for a penalty and possibly two. Well, yeah, um, with the lads we've got, we've got five or six who can you know with pace and who can go forward. So there's always going to be that mix where if it's not working for some of the lads, others can come on, and we're always going to be a threat going forward. So as long as we keep the ball in their half, then we're always going to be a threat. Fantastic, and then moving on to Boston away on Tuesday, I believe. Yeah, it's going to be um, a Tuesday night trip. It's going to be an hard one, you know. Um, all the lads are ready for it, though, and as we say with the win today, puts it in good stead to, to go up there and hopefully get another win. Great to get three points on the board, but you know, I wasn't happy with the performance. I thought, you know, certainly in the, the you know the four offensive players certainly didn't do enough. He never looked after the ball well enough to create. Uh, I understand the conditions were hard, it was windy, uh, but I'd have to say and say Workington played the conditions better than we did. Uh, you know, we've got we've got goals at great times. You know, obviously early on in the first half, early on in the second half, you committed the Cardinals in. Once you score, you go and give a soft one away. It would have made the afternoon a lot easier. Got the odd chance on the break. Mike Fenix should have scored. Uh, but Mike, Andy, Tony and Sean, you know, they've really got to really improve. I thought like the first half, Bernie and Clinton and Grandy defended really well. And as the game gone, Alan Moog can come into the game more and more, which is important for us. But I said, we do need to improve. It seems a kind of a physical game and, and, and scrappy at periods, but there were chances going forward and possibly a couple of claims for penalties? I think Andy Owens was a penalty all day in the, in the box. Uh, but... You know, he probably didn't get it because he kept on going down too easy anyway during the game. Uh, you know, he's a six foot three centre forward. He just needs to take the odd bum and the odd whack, which he's shown in pre-season. And you know, I said uh, I was terribly disappointed in I said, what we've done as an offensive unit today. And you know, going to Boston, who've just come on the back of a great four-one win away at Stockport. You know, it's going to be a tough game. It is, and, and talking of, of Boston on Tuesday, that gets you kind of set up then for back here on the bank holiday weekend against Solihull Moors. Yeah, you know, obviously a great start at home. Our home form is going to be imperative, so got off to a winning start and hope we can build on that solid. But before that, we've got two you know, really tough games at Boston and Gloucester, so um, hopefully we'll, we'll have more points on the board by the time we come back. So, Telford, start the season here at the New Bucks Head with a 2-1 win. Manager Liam Watson there, happy with the result, but not necessarily with the performance. Join us again back here on Bank Holiday Monday when AFC Telford face Solihull Moors.